Okay, so um, in today's lesson we looked at different types of errors. Now, in this video I'm just going to focus on one of those types, which is random errors. Okay, so just focus on random errors. Uh, there are three main sources of random errors. Uh, now the first one is how readable the instrument is. So, how readable is the instrument? Now an example of this, and probably my favourite example, is the voltmeter. So, we've all used a digital volt multimeter to um, to measure the voltage of a circuit and what happens when you flick that two volts is we get a digital display trying to show us how many volts we've got but it keeps changing so the numbers keep swapping to maybe 5.2 to 3.7 and the numbers keep kind of wibbling, wibbling about so the instrument's not that readable and you basically just have to pick a number at a random time which is going to give you a random error um, another source of random error is simply the observer being less than perfect. So as an example, let's say that you're doing an experiment where you've been given a stopwatch. Okay, so you've been given a stopwatch and asked to stop a timer when a, well, to start a timer when a ball is released and then to stop it when it hits the ground. Okay. Now, when the ball is released, maybe sometimes you start the timer too early, other times you could start it too late, so too early or late. And then, again, you could be too early or late when the ball hits the ground, so too early or late. Okay, and what that's going to result is sometimes you're early and early, other times you're late and late, sometimes you're late and early, other times you're early and late. So that's going to give you a, another random error. Okay, so your numbers are going to be all over the place. Uh, third and final source of random error is the effects of change in the surroundings. So, for example, let's say that we were testing a solar panel in Dubai. So, I gave you a solar panel and we wanted to know whether one solar panel, or two solar panels, or three solar panels would collect the same three times or a different amount of energy. So we were putting these solar panels in series, and we were trying to measure the voltage. But instead of controlling our experiment with a lamp, we were relying on the sun. Dubai is a sunny place, so we think, yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's a pretty good idea. Until clouds start forming, and sometimes there's a cloud in front of the sun, other times there aren't. So, due to uh, random change in the surroundings, let's write that down, random change in the surroundings. Okay that's going to again give us a random number. Okay, so just to refresh, how readable is the instrument? Is the instrument giving us random numbers, which is going to result in a random error? How reliable are you? So are you picking random numbers resulting in a random error? And how reliable are the surroundings? Are they going to give us random errors?